video, I am going to show you how you can create a custom sidebar using the cadence theme. I will be using the cadence theme along with the cadence block and you will also require the cadence theme pro in order to create the custom sidebar. So right here you can see I have already created a custom sidebar. This is very simple sidebar and you can actually use your creativity to customize it or create it any ways you want you can insert the contact form here you can display more information you can add images and anything you imagine you can insert inside this sidebar so if you are interested in learning how you can create the sidebar using the cadence pro theme and the cadence blocks then without further ado let's get started now so in order to create the sidebar what you actually want to do is to go to the dashboard of your website and once you will go to the dashboard of your website from here you want to hover over to this appearance and then you want to go to this elements right here you can see if i click on this elements i have already created this sidebar template here and if i click on view you can see this is the template that i am using so i'll go back here but before let me tell you that you will have to click on this cadence option here and from here you will have to enable this hooked element option so that you can use the dynamic data on your website and we will use that dynamic data to create the sidebar template so here you can see this is already enabled that is why i am seeing this elements option so in order to create your custom sidebar let me just unpublish this so if i unpublish this and if i go back to the uh, blog post that we were seeing so let's just open this blog post from here and here you can see now the sidebar is gone that is because i have turned off the element that i was using for the sidebar so let's just recreate that template again so what you actually want to do is to click on this add new button right here and once you will click on the add new button this will start getting loaded and you will have similar kind of window from here you want to choose this template so once you will click on this template you can click on this element setting so click on this element setting and from here you can choose preview setting so click on preview settings and from here make sure you choose post i'll choose the post option from here and then you can choose select preview post so click on the select preview post and then you can choose any of these posts that you are seeing so i'll choose the very first post right here and then you can click on this select option and then you can simply click on close and once you will close that now the preview settings are applied now here you will see some additional settings like placement display settings user settings and expiry settings i'll get back to you i'll get back to these settings in a while so let's just start building our sidebar template first of all let's just give it a title so i'll give it a title of sidebar new and then in here i want to insert a row layout so i'll type forward slash row and then i'll choose this row layout so what i actually want to do is to use this single uh, row layout so i'll use this single row layout and here first of all i want to make the width to wide width let's just make this full screen so i'll change it back to full screen mode so if i click here from here you will have to select this row layout and from here you need to ensure this wide width is enabled and then where it says content width inner content width choose the use theme content inner width and that is all so once you will do that what i actually want to do is to insert a section here so i'll search for a section and insert a section right here. so now what i can actually do is to enable this settings for the blocks so click on this settings icon and here you want to select this block so in the block settings go to this style tab and then go to this border styles and from here apply the box shadow so once you will apply the box shadow you can now start inserting your elements so now what i actually want to do is to insert a heading so i'll insert the heading and i actually want to change the heading tag to heading 5 and now we actually need to grab some content for the sidebar so i'll go to the home page of the website and i'll copy this content from here and now we can actually paste this content right here and now you can see this is actually h1 we can change it back to h5 and then we can make it inline just like now you can open this navigator setting here and here you can see the structure that we are following now to add the further content click on this plus icon and once again search for heading and then add this text advanced in here and change it to paragraph tag so here you can see this is changed to the paragraph tag i'll insert some lorem ipsum right here and then i'll paste the content in here you can change it with your content you can type in your contents any ways you want so now once you will do that what you actually want to do 
is to click on this plus icon and then you can search for button and then you need to insert this button insert this button right here and then from here you can align these items so this one right here is the vertical alignment and this one right here is the horizontal ali alignment so i want to align it on the left side i'll choose the left side and here you can type in your own button title i'll type learn more and here under the style tabs you can choose the background colors and the colors and the typography settings and everything else that you want to include inside of your button so here this is our first card that i have added in the demo that i showed you now we actually need to insert the background color so i'll select the section this inner section that we added in the beginning then i'll go to the style tab and in the background color i'll change the background color to white now you can see we have this white color here you can go to this advanced settings and then you can apply padding on all the sides so i'll apply this small settings or a small padding or the medium padding let's just keep the medium padding right here now what i actually want to do is to duplicate this from here so i'll duplicate this right here but before let's do one thing select this entire section and here you will see this option row gap so increase the row gap and here you can see as i am increasing the row gap the gap between both of these rows that or the section that we are creating is increasing accordingly so in here what i actually want to do is to display the recent post so i'll change it to recent posts and then i actually want to remove this button from here so i'll just delete the button and i can also delete it from here. now i'll click on this plus icon and i will search for post and i actually want to insert this post or grid carousel so i'll insert the post or grid carousel right here here you can select the post option and from here make sure you choose the query as it is showing and then you don't actually need to change anything else in here but then you can choose one of these templates so i'll choose this template from here then you will have these settings right here so here for now it says number of items six i only want to keep three items so i'll change it back to three and right here if you will go to the layout settings here in the layout you will have different options available here i only want to display one column so i'll keep only one column option right now i also want to hide the image so i'll click on the image settings and then i'll click on this hide image or show image toggle that you are seeing right here next up what you can do is to go under the style tab and then you can stylize these items you can change the alignments and anything that you want i'll just keep the alignment that comes basically by default then if you want you can insert a border color any ways that you want i don't want to apply any border color so i'll change it back to what we had initially here under the header header settings you can change the header background and under the footer settings you can change the footer background and under the content settings you can change the content background i have created a separate tutorial where i walked you through with all of these different settings if you want i'll drop the link of that video in the description so that you can watch that video so now you will have to go to this advanced tab where it says above title categories you can see we don't have any categories showing here that is hidden by default then where it says title settings whether you can decide if you want to display the title or you don't want to display the title i actually want to display the title i want to change the color to this pink color and then in here where it says below title meta we want to hide the title meta and then we actually want to keep this excerpt and if you want to add you can add the learn more read more button right here that is your choice so now if you will go here you can see this is how it is looking now let's just create one more component so for that what you can do is to go here in the navigator and then you can expand this and then you can expand this section as well now i actually want to duplicate this so i'll duplicate this option in here and then what you can do is to add a search bar so what i actually want to do is to insert the search bar in here so i'll remove the title and then i can also remove this excerpt and remove the button and you can see our section is removed so let's just in add the search bar before we actually start doing anything so i'll search for search and here is our search bar so i'll insert the search bar right here and here you can see this is how our search bar is looking from here you can define the width so i want to make it 100 percent or you can also increase or decrease the width from here it is already 100 percent and here are different kinds to choose from that what 
whatever kind of the search bar you want whether you want it with the button without the button or anything like that if you want to display the title and if you want to display only the button that is your choice whichever kind of button you actually want to keep you can keep in that kind of layout so here you can see i have created this template and this is actually very basic kind of template as I told you, you can decide on whatever kind of sidebar you want to create. So you have all of these blocks available to choose from and you can use all of these blocks to create your own custom sidebar, however you want to decide. Once you are good with the design, you can click on this icon right here. And then in here, you will see this option placement. So click here and then scroll down until you will see this option replace sidebar. So these are all the dynamic areas that cadence theme supports so i'll choose this replace sidebar option here then where it says display settings then choose entire site so show on entire site and where it says user setting make it visible to all users then click on this publish button and then once again click on the publish button now if i go back to the blog post and if i refresh this blog post you can see this is how our sidebar is looking obviously we are not having a button right here we can adjust that so from here we can make the button inside and then you can hit update now if we'll go back and if i refresh here you can see there is our button so if you want to keep the uh, search bar you can keep the search bar i'll just remove it and then i'll hit update now if i go back here and if i refresh you can see it has been removed from here now let me just show you some additional settings that comes in the customizer so for that you will have to go to this customize option right here and once you will click on the customize option the customizer will start getting loaded and once it will get loaded from here you want to click on this general tab and then here you will see this sidebar option so i have this 35 percent of sidebar apply you can increase or decrease the value if i apply 30 percent you can see now the sidebar width is 30 percent so you can increase or decrease the values from here and everything that you want so in this way basically you can create your own sidebar using the cadence themes pro and the cadence blocks pro i hope you have find this video useful if you find this video useful don't forget to hit the like button that will help me reach more people on youtube and help those people to create their own sidebars if you have any questions drop them in the comment section i'll try to get back to you as soon as i can then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and be sure to hit the bell icon to always get the latest video updates from me thank you very much i'll see you in the next video